All right, welcome to day 18 in the Whiskey Advent calendar. First things first. Oh, all right. <laughs> Man, that thing is heavy. Okay, so uh, today we've got Oban. Now, uh, I'm pretty excited about this one because I love Oban and I've had this one. Uh, full disclosure, this is not a new whiskey for me. And I think there might be a, I just noticed, I think there might be a leak in my bottle because it's a little bit damp and uh, the level is a little bit low. So, son of a bitch. Well, I can always refill by going and getting the my bottle of this exact whiskey that I have on my shelf. This is Oban Little Bay. That's a special edition of theirs. Oh yeah, we've got a cracked uh, wax seal. I wonder if it's uh, had any evaporation issues. I'm betting it's fine. And I'm a betting man by nature. Um, Mm, no, I think we got some evaporation there. Hang on a second. Cue music. Okay, so here's the real bottle of Oban Little Bay. Um, and what I'm going to do is pour another glass and see how it tastes compared to what I just poured. Um, Let's see here. Color's identical. Smells different. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we lost some love in that glass. So that's extremely disappointing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do about that? Let's just set that over there, out of the way. And we'll do the tasting with this glass. <laughs> I could tell. So when you have, um, here's how you can know that kind of thing really quick, right? Like, you know, when you are uh, at a restaurant and uh, they pour you a tiny bit of wine first, whoever requested it before they start pouring and they want you to smell it. Do you know what they're doing there is they're not asking, do you like this wine, right? You ordered that wine and they poured it. You're going to pay for that damn wine. What they're wanting you to check and see is, is the wine corked, right? Is the wine good and like the uh, wine winery intended it to be? And all you're checking for when you smell and taste it is, yeah, it's fine, it's not been corked, right? Because they're not gonna sample your wine back in the back room for you to see if it's corked, they're gonna open it at the table. So that's what they're doing when you do it. They're saying, is this good? And you're saying, yep, it's fine. Uh, you're not saying, you know what? I changed my mind, I don't like this one. <laughs> Um, so what happens when uh, a whiskey is effectively corked um, is it doesn't go uh, vinegary and sour like a wine does. What happens is it lets air in and it starts evaporating. It's high alcohol, right? And the alcohol evaporates first and you get increasingly watered down tasting whiskey. If you ever put yourself a glass of whiskey like this and you leave it out for about an hour and then you come back to it, um, you'll find that it tastes far less alcoholic and watered down as if you would let ice melt on it by accident. And that's just evaporation. So um, that's one of the reasons that Glen uh, Cairn glasses sell the little lids you can put on there to keep that from happening and let you sip your whiskey a little bit slower, um, which I've only needed when I'm pouring serious amounts of whiskey. Uh, now, Oban, this is a special edition of theirs. Um, I was reading a great article by um, by Jeff Kleinman on drinkspirits.com, and he was talking uh, about an angle I hadn't thought about with this whiskey, which was, this is owned by Diageo, which is one of the biggest uh, brands of whiskey and distributors and owners in the world. And um, they own a bunch of scotch distilleries. And actually, when they first started buying them, there was a lot of worry about what did it mean. But the good news is, in most cases, they invested a lot of money in telling the stories of those whiskeys and rebuilding visitor centers and things like that. Now, on the other hand, they also removed entire lines of whiskey from the shelf to help supply content for whiskeys like Johnny Walker. Right, like uh, if you've watched VOG before, you'll remember of mine that you'll remember that uh, Cal Isla um, is one of the dominant whiskeys in Johnny Walker, certain expressions of Johnny Walker. And um, 
one of the reasons that they don't have uh, higher expressions now is because they've been pulled to make more Johnny Walker blends. Um, and so Jeff made that point that uh, this is, and so Oban is on the West Coast, in the West Highlands, and it's right next to Talisker, uh, to Isla Sky, where Talisker is, and uh, also owned by Diageo. And Diageo invested in Talisker Storm, which ended up winning Whiskey of the Year, and it paid off so well they started doing that in some of the other distilleries. I think that's a similar choice to what they're doing here with uh, Oban Little Bay, and I think they're using. They say they're using small casks. No one, uh, I haven't read what it was. He guessed that maybe it was similar to Lafroig's quarter cask program, and I think he's totally right. Uh, so thank you, Jeff, for a lot of uh, helpful comments that really informed what I was thinking about. I was trying to come up with something new because I already know I love this whiskey. Um, open Little Bay. I love these coastal whiskeys that have notes of salt water in them. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah. I almost don't want to put water in this because it's just so perfect. But I love Lefroig's quarter cask too. I love these kind of small cask finished whiskeys. Let's see what happens with a drop. Yeah. It actually got a little more mellow. Uh, kind of bummed about that. <laughs> it's not bad, it's still a great whiskey, but Oban, I have yet to find something uh, that I didn't like from Oban. As a matter of fact, I just got my hands on a bottle of Oban double matured and I can't say anything about it because I haven't researched it yet, but I am excited about that one too. Um, Oban just, it does good work. So um, thanks again, Master Malt, and uh, thanks Oban. And by the way, if you uh, clicked a few videos back and watched the uh, Nick Offerman Tales of Whiskey series, you'll know that he did a whole bunch of features on Oban and they're hilarious. Uh, so go watch that if you haven't. And until tomorrow. Cheers.